Okay, dann fangen wir erstmal aus über das Hotel. Paul bought this in years ago, when I was little, and I've lived here most of my life. I clean and take care of the guests. Ah ja? I bet you do. <lacht> Und über die Stadt? Volksville is very quiet, but I like it here. I go down to Tier with Pa every few months, but I love my home. Über Rayford? I don't like Rayford. I know people say he's good for the village, but I think he's a bad man. Ja, niemand mag ihn. My Pa's the greatest. He takes such good care of me and this inn. Und deine Mama? I miss her. Hickory stick? Is that hickory stick your pa talks about for real? He used it on Mills the banker last week. Beat him real good. It's a shame though. He's such a handsome man. Gewesen. I don't suppose he'd be interested in meeting me for a drink at a pub later. No, she isn't interested. <laughs> oh, fair enough then. Can't blame a guy for asking. No, you can't. I totally would, but Pa would break your legs if I went with you. Good Lord, you're going to get me killed. <laughs> Maybe, but it's a good time though, isn't it? Hmm. No, no. Oh. no, you... I told... Good Lord. <laughs> May... Well, it was lovely talking to you, you know. Oh, such a gentleman. Yeah. Ich bin dann mal oben ausgezogen. Okay, äh, den Gang ganz runter und dann zur linken oder bin ich schon da? Nett. The door is already open. Ja, ich will sie schließen. You try with all your m You play. You try. There is nothing in these drawers. You play around. You can't go to sleep now. You have to help Kurt. <sighs> okay, we have the Zähne im Helm and müssen selbiges einschmelzen. Ich dachte halt, das geht, wenn man es einfach irgendwo ins Kaminfeuer stellt oder so. Aber wir bräuchten natürlich noch, ähm, noch irgendeine Form, oder? You are carrying some food rations, which are useful for staying alive. They are made out of dried fruit and nuts, smoked meats and other assorted goodies. Mm. Und ich habe sieben davon. Äh, das heißt, ich hatte vorher schon zwei. Okay. The fish is dead, gone, deceased. Travel to the great aquarium in the sky. <laughs> this bee is still alive. The little bastard obviously didn't get a chance to sting you when you disturbed its hive. <clears throat> do you really want to do that? Wrong sword, dude. <laughs> well, hello, young fellow. How are you? Oh, good. I'm above ground. It's a start. Indeed. <laughs> Can I help you? How do my skills work? So, you want to know about skills? That's a pretty exciting topic, so I'm glad you asked. You can check out your skills on your character sheet, which is located by clicking the shield icon on the pull-down menu, or by pressing Control s <laughs> The left side of your character sheet contains all your combat skills, and you can learn more about them by asking me how to fight. On the right side are the skills I'll talk about here. These are environmental skills and are useful for all sorts of things. Climbing is self-explanatory, I suppose. Or at least it should be. If you can't grasp what climbing is, you're probably about to die quite often in this game. Okay. Stealth is your ability to sneak around and not be heard. You raise this by simply sneaking around, although non-rogue classes can't raise the statistic above 50. Thievery is your ability to steal shit or to pick locks. 
The more you pick those locks, or steal, the better at it you become. Again, though, only rogues can raise this above 50. Mystical power is the statistic that sorcerers care most about. This raises with every spell cast, and the higher it becomes, the more powerful your spells become. All the statistics rise on a sliding scale, so at first it might only take a couple of attempts to raise your skill level. But as your skills become higher, you'll need to undertake a lot more attempts to get it to rise higher again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finally, there's Infamy. The more you undertake tasks in this game, the more Infamy you gain. This is very important later in the game, because if you've gained enough Infamy, you'll get more help in your final tasks. Undertake... Ja, übersetzen. <lacht> Tut sich ein bisschen schwer. Ähm, kann mir schon vorstellen, was das heißen könnte, aber. Verpflichten. Verpflichten, unternehmen, übernehmen, sich verpflichten, durchführen, ausführen, eingehen. Ja, ja, habe ich gedacht, sowas. Äh, unternehmen quasi. Undertake Unternehmen. I hope that was some help. If you need to know about combat or the creatures around these parts, feel free to ask. You don't know how to fight, and you're still alive? Well, you are an enigma, aren't you? Yeah. Before we get into combat proper, I'll explain a couple of neat tricks I've learned over the years that might help you out. Always watch out for your enemy. They can be anywhere and tend to hide behind trees and such things. <laughs> Once you enter an area, if there's an enemy about, you have about five seconds to decide what to do. Oh. You can always run away, or you can choose to attack. Just click your sword icon on them if that's what you want to do, and you'll get straight into the combat. Rogues also have the option of attempting to throw a dagger at an enemy, which could stun them long enough for you to get close enough to slice their throat. Hmm. Not very honorable. But you don't strike me as someone who would care about that. Now let's talk about combat itself. Okay. I'll just cover the basics here. You can learn more about class-specific actions yourself. Übrigens, ähm, der, 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 der ist doch nicht, der ist doch nicht gemalt wie all die anderen Charaktere. Das ist doch einer von den Entwicklern oder so, oder nicht? I do warn you. I know all of this in theory, but in practice you might still have some learning to do. At the top, right above what I'm saying here, you'll see your own health as well as the health of your enemy. If either falls to zero, that person dies. You'll see across the bottom of your screen four buttons. These are your basic combat moves, and you use them by clicking on your preferred choice during combat. Each of these moves is attached to a statistic in your character sheet, which you can view by pressing Control S or clicking on the shield icon on the main drop-down icon bar at the top of the screen. Uh -huh. All of your moves use one specific skill, Weapon Percent Hit, which tells you how likely you are to hit your opponent. Then each of the other combat skills, Hacking, Stabbing, and Slashing, increase the damage you do. Okay. Any attacking action taken in combat, whether successful or not, will go towards raising your skill level in that particular skill, as well as Weapon Percent Hit. The first button is Stab, so why don't you give it a try? Don't worry if you don't hit. The Rukiti isn't real. <laughs> yeah, that is a good. Stab. Damn it. Damn it. Well done. You've just performed your first stabbing action. It's a useful move to master. Now let's look at slashing. Click the slashing button and see what happens. Oh. Damn it. Nicely done! That's slashing for you. Now for your final attack, hacking. Slash plus one, cool. Hacking yeah. is most certainly my preferred attack. Of course, I really prefer not to get into combat at all. You've got one final button on your combat panel, 
So let's try out some blocking. Blocking, or avoiding your opponent's weapon, is very useful in combat. A successful block will return 5 health to you, and oh. cause your enemy's attack to fail for that turn. Oh cool, that's also neat. So that's the basics of combat. Oh, before I let you go, I should point out a couple of other things you might find useful. I just turned on a fifth button on your combat panel. This one is your healing potions. Very useful in battle as they heal you for 10 points of health. So carry a few around with you. The number above the potion designates how many you're carrying. Mm -hmm. Give the button a click and watch yourself drink a healing potion. It's quite a magical sight to behold. Oh. Okay, that's all I really know about fighting. I hope it was helpful to you. Ja, oh, ich hätte es gerne noch gewusst, was äh, die einzelnen Skills. Ähm ja, was ist der Unterschied ist, wenn ich wenn ich hacke oder wenn ich stabbe oder wenn ich slashe, wäre noch interessant zu wissen. Well, hello, young. I'm above ground. Indeed. Okay. Well, it was nice talking. Warte, können wir noch asken über irgendwas? Well, I'm above indeed. <coughs> well, it was nice. Nein, nicht you Star. You have. Well, I'm indeed. Asken. Um. Well, where are my manners? Ned O King, adventurer, explorer, and cataloger of rare animals, and in some cases, monsters. Well, I travel from land to land looking for new species of animals. I catalog them all, and then I publish my findings. I have several books in print. So, so. They are fascinating, eh? I love your regular old bear or raccoon, but when you find that rare species, that's what makes the job. So, wir machen gleich noch ein kleines Rauchpäuschen. Ich, ähm... Ich plane so bis Mitternacht ungefähr zu zocken und dann, äh... Naja, ähm, ähm... Wenn ich meine, mir den letzten Energy Drink erst um 10, halb 11 reinhaue, dann kann ich nachher nicht mehr anständig schlafen, darum... ...machen wir jetzt schon noch ein kleines Häuschen. Well, there's an interesting subject. You do see them around here. I try to avoid them and study from afar. Mostly I try to talk to others who've seen and dealt with them. I use their information to write about how to deal with them. This area has such an interesting array of monsters, even undead. Ja, hab ich gemerkt. And the regions within each area are almost unique in their variety. There's the Volksville Woods, which currently surround us. To the west lie the grasslands, and just north and east of here are the 99 acre woods. Or the North Woods, as some call them. Up north and a little west of here is the Krasnan Swamp. Hmm. Head south towards the ocean to see the amazing South Woods. Each area holds variety to keep me fascinated for years of study. So, so. Feel free to ask me about anything you might want to, and I'll tell you what I know. Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm, from what you describe, this sounds like a Hundelvorn. The thing about them is, they aren't natural. A Hundelvorn is generally some kind of purposeful mutation of a creature, or man. In those cases, some kind of magic or alchemy is involved. So, so. I'll tell you though, you should worry less about the beast, and more about who made the beast. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The main creatures you encounter around here are the Rukiti. They're a red-skinned creature, generally armed with a flail, who are mean and will probably attack you on sight. I've heard they're not too difficult to defeat in combat, although I've never tried myself. You'll probably encounter some brutes as well if you wander around enough. That's what they call the local brigands around here. Rough lot. Brutes. A good offense is probably just slashing at these types instead of just trying to stab them. Uh -huh. The grasslands are an amazing place. So vast and full of grass. <laughs> I made a rhyme. 
Besides the Rukiti, who seem to be most everywhere around these parts, you'll probably see some jaguars during the day and wolves at night. Hmm. Both are just normal animals. Nothing too special about them, except they seem to be more susceptible to slashing as opposed to other attacks. Uh -huh. I surmise that to these creatures, the weapon looks like a giant steel claw, which sends them into a panic. But that's just a theory. Mm -hmm. You might find the wolf fur will go for a fair bligh in the right place, too. What a fascinating place the 99-acre woods are. They originally started off as 100 acres, but rumor has it that it was measured wrong by the lord or king of the time. <laughs> it was once an area set aside for hunting bears, but since it's been left to go wild, some giant spiders have moved in. Yay, super. <clears throat> Both of these animals are weak against your slashing attack. Ah, but it's immer slashing, 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 huh? I've never ventured north into the swamps, although I hear it's a fascinating place. Check with the apothecarian in town here. He goes there or sends his young apprentice there to collect herbs and plants. I can tell you that there are swamp prokiti there, cousin to the red-skinned ones around these parts. They're more vicious than their cousins, but they tend to not like a stabbing attack. Throws them off their ah, game. Okay. Also dem Sumpf eher abstechen. Now what I am intrigued by in there is the giant snakes. Oh. I've never seen one before, but I hear they're a sight. Being a wild beast, I'd have to assume they wouldn't like a slashing motion of the sword. But don't quote me on that. Hmm. The leaves and colors of the South Woods are amazing. Truly a great part of the world, but that doesn't mean there's not some fierce creatures about as well. The whole area is crawling with dwarves, and they're nothing like you see in books or hear about. Okay. Nasty little buggers. They'll cut you up and sell your body parts for a bligh if they can. Yay. I really couldn't tell you the best way to deal with them except to stay away if you see them. Okay. <clears throat> Von Zwergen fernhalten. Alles klar. Oh, the undead. Most people think yeah. these are just made up fairy tales to scare young children, but there's certainly more than that. Haben wir bereits einen kennengelernt. The old graveyard to the north has its fair share of white skeletons and specters. The information I have on them is sketchy, but from what I understand, and there's a certain logic to this, they don't like being bashed. So Bash. your best bet is to hack away at them until they drop. Huh. Then run like hell. It makes sense to me not to bother stabbing them. After all, there's no internal organs in the undead, so just what would you be stabbing, eh? <laughs> Good, das wäre das. Um, goodbye. Well, it was nice talking with you. Come back if you need any kind of help. Dann machen wir ein kleines Häuschen. Du hast mega groß hier alles. Kleines Häuschen. So. Bis nachher. Die, gut und, äh, die gute alte Might and Magic Kamera. Das hier wäre die Desktop Kamera. Das ist aus irgendeinem seltsamen Grunde die äh, Vollbild. Äh, das Abgreifen des Vollbilds. Wie immer eingefroren. Aber die gute alte Might and Magic Einstellung, die passt halt einfach. Passt für so vieles, finde ich so cool. So, äh, hm, hm, hm. <lacht> Wir müssen immer noch unseren Helm irgendwie erhitzen, damit das Silber darin schmilzt. Und dann bräuchten wir vielleicht auch ein, noch eine Gussform im besten Fall. Also klar, wir können den auch einfach um Silberklumpen anbieten. Ist auf jeden Fall besser als blutige Zähne, aber ja. Vielleicht, ähm... Wir haben ja ganz zu Beginn einen Schmied gesehen. Vielleicht hat der noch äh, Glut in der Esse oder so. Oh! Oder so. 
<laughs> nice night, eh? Yes, it is. Clear night. Always is after a man's been executed. <laughs> Nasty business. It certainly is. How can I help you? No, I can't melt those. Something seems fishy about all of this. Ach, komm schon. Sind doch nur Zähne. Hm. Fragen, ob man die Schmiede benutzen darf. Sorry. Only my family may use oh. this forge. Name? Edward Smith. Aha. Smith by name, Smith by trade. Feel free to call me Smith. The fires of my forge have burned for many years. It's been my family's trade for ages. So, so. The fire is part of my family. It never extinguishes. Oh. This fire, to my knowledge, has burned since my father's 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 father started it. Is that so? Wäre doch eine Schande, wenn jetzt jemand mit einem Kübel Wasser. We tend to it every day. My father tended to it for his father. I tended it for mine, and my boy tends to the fire for me. He makes sure it is fueled and fostered every day. Hmm. I love my home. It's been the seat of my family for generations. Rayford, what the hell hältst du denn so von Rayford? He keeps the peace. Sometimes I wonder at what cost, but I do believe he means well. Ja, alles ein bisschen skeptisch, hä? I Waffen. make weapons when I must. I do not lie or boast when I claim them to be the best. If I make an instrument that must take a man's life, I would have that man be slain with a weapon of purity and strength, so that he is sent to meet the Maker with honor. No, I can't melt those. Something seems fishy about all of this. Hmm. Kaufen? Oh. 50 Kröten für den Dollar. 250 für eine Kette. Nägel oder Spikes? Boah, 1000 für so einen Zeremoniendolch. Lederrüstung. Braunbeerrüstung. Und Kettenrüstung für 1400. Für den König gemacht, aber er hat in den letzten Minuten sich umentschieden. In der letzten Minute. How can I help? Hm, kann ich vielleicht ein paar Nägel klauen? Your attempt at last and he failed, but you gained some experience. You don't think you could attempt that again today? The blacksmith is watching you intently. You can't manage to steal anything. The blacksmith... Okay. La, 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 la. You're about to put the helm into the forge when you realize you're not a total moron. You'd burn your hand without something to hold the helm with. Hmm. Okay, uh, aber sonst wird's gehen, oder was? Ich hab meine... This is cloth armor. In reality, though, it's just clothing, so it doesn't stop any damage getting through. Uh huh. That's all. Nichts. It's a decent sword. Better because it was free. You stole it. Hehehe. Yeah, yeah. So is that. You have no reason to give that to the blacksmith. You can't give anything to the horse. You have no need to put that in the water. Irgendwie habe ich so im Gefühl, dass wir ähm, dem sein Feuer ausmachen müssen. You have no need to put oh. The water doesn't look particularly fresh. 
In fact, you're pretty sure you saw one of the townspeople relieve himself into it earlier on. <laughs> Wie, wir waren noch gar nicht da. The fire burns steady and bright. You notice a pair of tongs next to the forge. Ah ja, wo? Plunging your hand into fire rates among the most stupid things humans can do. Okay. Plunging. Plunging. Plunge. You try with all your might. Ähm, ja, das sollen irgendwelche Zangen sein, aber sich. Ah. Whatever it is you're trying to do doesn't seem to. Come on. No way. No way. The smith is here. Hmm. Und wie lenke ich denn ab? You try with all your might. You sneak up to the horse and untie the rope. Too bad the blacksmith could see you. You now know better to try something devious in full view of everyone. You should be more sly. What are you doing? Gar nichts. Nothing. We will see what Rayford has to say about it. Oh oh. Was? <laughs> Okay. Schleichi, schleichi. You sneak up to the horse. Ah, you shit. Und wenn ich hinter dem Pferd stehe, vielleicht? Nah. You sneak you A small pile of wood stacked neatly, used to fuel the forge, you assume. You would grab a log, but you'd have to carry it, and you have no reason to now. <laughs> There's a bell there by the door, but you don't want to ring it. It might make someone come and talk to you. You rub your hands all over yourself like a showgirl. You think about an alternative career, should the need arise. You ring the bell. The smith just stares at you. Yes? Ah, uh, nothing. Just seeing if it works. Well, it does. Do you feel better? No. 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 Mm. Neither do I. Hmm. Wir müssen den Schmied irgendwie loswerden. Bin ich jetzt? Hier gibt's Tränke, zumindest äh, am Tag. Look at this place. Fancy, fancy. That roof must have cost the pharmacist a pretty penny for sure. He must sell a lot of potions. Ja, so ist das in Fantasy Rollenspielen. Kann ich jetzt vielleicht? You don't want to fuss with the well right now. You don't need water, and frankly, right now, we don't need trouble. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. <lacht> so, komme ich jetzt langsam wieder ähm, zum Eingang der Stadt? Ah, das, das war keine Glut, das sind Teppiche, stimmt's? It's a pretty little alcove. You wonder who usually hangs out there. There must be a better way to accomplish your goal. Also dann save der Schmied. Ich dachte halt, weil hier Waffensymbol und das hat ausgesehen wie eine Glut und so und naja. They look handmade yet unremarkable. They look 